in the last lecture we have discussed that how we can draw the output voltage waveform for the three phase 180 degree conduction inverter so those waveforms you can see in this slide so if we plot them all together the three phase output voltage waveform will look like this these are the phase voltages and you can see these are 120 degree displays with respect to each other and these are the line voltages so line voltages are the quasi square waveforms they have the positive level negative level and the zero voltage level however if you look at the phase voltages they have the level of 1 by 3 VDC 2 by 3 VDC minus 1 by 3 VDC and minus 2 by 3 VDC we also calculated the RMS value of the phase and the line voltage in the last lecture so that you can see over here the phase voltage was equal to 0.4714 times the DC supply voltage and the line voltage was equal to 0.8165 into Vs and the relationship between phase and line voltage for the wire connected load is this one that line voltage is under root 3 times V phase okay now to perform the Fourier analysis to look at the harmonics which are present in this in these voltage waveforms so let's start with the line voltages line voltages are the quasi square waveforms so I am going to take a quasi square waveform first of all in general I will develop the Fourier series of that one and then I will apply it on these line voltage waveform to get the spectrum Fourier spectrum of the inverter waveforms so let's assume that we have a quasi square waveform and I am going to draw it in such a way that 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 waveform has the symmetry half wave symmetry and the quarter wave symmetry so let's suppose that this is pi by 2 this is pi 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi and we have a waveform which is centered at pi by 2 let's suppose that the width of this one is beta in terms of angle so as it is centered at pi by 2 this will be beta by 2 and this will be beta by 2 okay so this is the positive part of this waveform if I draw the negative part that will be centered at 3 pi by 2 because I want to have the symmetry half wave as well as the quarter wave so to have the quarter waves symmetry I have centered it at pi by 2 and in order to have the half wave symmetry so if you flip that one flip and invert you should get the negative part so this is of width beta which is centered at 3 pi by 2 so this width is beta by 2 and this width is beta by 2 and let's suppose that this voltage level is plus Vs and this voltage level is minus Vs and this zero level is of width alpha and similarly this voltage zero level will also be of width alpha because we have the quarter wave symmetry okay similarly if we mark this angle this will be alpha and this angle will be also alpha now because of the half wave symmetry and quarter wave symmetry the A naught the DC component and a n Fourier series coefficient that will be zero the DC component will be zero because positive and the negative areas are equal I am going to consider that the positive area 
and the negative area over here. So as both of them are equal, so there will be no DC component. So its DC value is zero. Because of the half wave and quarter wave symmetry, An is equal to zero. And because of this, only odd harmonics will exist. So only odd harmonics will exist. We need to calculate only the Bn, Fourier series coefficient. So for Bn, using the quarter wave symmetry, I can write that Bn will be equal to 4 by pi integration from alpha to pi by 2, our function, our function or the voltage level in this interval in the in this half cycle from this to this angle starting angle is alpha and the ending angle is uh, pi by 2 so uh, I am going to take only this part so there are four such parts so you can see the multiplication of 4 over here so Vs into sine of n omega t an integration with respect to omega t so if now I expand this one I will get this expression and this is only valid when n is an odd number. So if I further simplify this one I can write it like this. Okay so now this cos of n alpha can also be written like this 4 Vs by n pi into sine of n beta by 2 right so the Fourier series representation of this signal let's suppose this is V so V of t will be equal to summation of this term sine of n beta by 2 into sine of n omega t for all odd harmonics up to infinity. So this is the Fourier series representation of this quasi square waveform. Right? Okay, now let's apply this for the uh, line voltage waveform that we get from the inverter. So if you uh, look at this waveform which I am going to mark at waveform 1 it is the quasi square waveform but advanced by the angle of let's suppose theta with respect to the waveform that we have discussed over here in this slide. Okay, so if I draw the waveform assuming that, that our on time is uh, equal to 2 pi by 3 because in an, our inverter waveform of 180 degree conduction this width is 2 pi by 3 it is centered at uh, pi by 2 so this part will be pi by 3 and this will be pi by 3 because our pulse width is of 120 degree and centered at pi by 2 and if I draw the negative voltage now which is centered at 3 pi by 2 again this will be of width 2 pi by 3 so we 
beta is equal to 2 pi by 3 and if I calculate the alpha because I want to relate this waveform this uh, with the above waveform so alpha in this case will be equal to total angle is uh, for half waveform is pi subtracting 2 pi by 3 from that we will get pi by 3 and it is divided equally on both sides so that is pi by 6 so, so now using this value in this expression I can say this V of t is equal to 4 V s by n pi where n is odd number up to infinity sine of n beta by 2 so taking the value of the beta now 2 pi by 3 so dividing it by uh, 2 so we will get sine n pi by 3 into sine of n omega t so this is the Fourier series representation for this waveform when we have taken the width equal to 2 pi by 3 ok now if I advance this waveform by the angle of 30 degree so how it will look like so if I say that I am going to advance it like that so this is now beta and uh, this is now beta that is equal to 2 pi by 3 so actually I can say that this waveform is basically um, let's suppose starting from here if I want to compare it with the above one so if I advance this 30 degree it will be like that so how we will be representing this one with the help of the Fourier series V of t there will be no change in the magnitude of the harmonics that will remain same only there will be a phase shift so sine of n omega t plus pi by 6 because we have shifted it pi by 6 so if you compare it this waveform because this was equal to pi by 6 this was equal to pi by 6 over here the alpha so if I shift this waveform sorry this is pi So I am going to shift it by pi by 6 so that will be reflected over here so this is the Fourier series for this waveform summation over all odd harmonics up to infinity so this is basically the waveform of our line voltage if you compare it uh, with this uh, waveform if I move up so just compare it with this one the waveform 1 so quasi square waveform shifted by the angle of uh, 30 degree will give you the line voltage VAB so the Fourier series representation of our uh, line voltage VAB that is equal to this expression that we have just discussed for Vs by n pi into sine of n pi by 3 into sine of n omega t plus pi by 6 now using this if I write down the expression for the line voltage VBC which is further delayed by uh, 120 degree from the uh, line voltage VAB but its waveform is exactly same so the magnitude of the harmonics will remain same only there will be the phase shift sine of n omega t plus pi by 6 this is the waveform for VAB 
now vbc is 120 degree shifted version of this one so if i subtract uh, from this 2 pi by 3 i will get the phase of vbc right now taking writing the waveform uh, fourier series expression for the waveform vca the third voltage waveform so that will be simply equal to 4 v s by n pi into sine of n pi by 3 into sine of n omega t plus pi by 6 minus 4 pi by 3 so i can write these expressions as 4 v s by n pi sine of n pi by 3 into sine of n omega t uh, sorry basically this n will also be there over here n pi by 6 n pi by 6 it will also be multiplied with n n over here and n over here as well so uh, I can write this expression n omega t plus pi by 6 and this can be written as 4 v s by n pi into sine n pi by 3 into sine of n omega t pi by 6 minus 2 pi by 3 will be equal to minus pi by 2 so for all odd harmonics and for the waveform vca 4 v s by n pi into sine of n pi by 3 into sine of n omega t now subtracting uh, from this minus pi by 2 minus 2 pi by 3 so you are going to get minus 7 pi by 6 so your Fourier series representation for the line voltages VAB, VBC and VCA is this one now using this you can uh, find out the magnitude of the fundamental component or for any harmonic so let's calculate the magnitude of the fundamental component so fundamental component and keep one thing in mind that this is the magnitude peak value peak value of any harmonic voltage right so now let's calculate the fundamental component so fundamental component will be equal to if i look at the uh, peak value and i'm going to now write vl that's the line voltage and n is representing any harmonic and this is the uh, peak one so that is 4 v s by n pi into sine of n pi by 3 and if I want to find out the RMS value, so V line for nth harmonic and the RMS value, so that is 4 V S by under root 2 n pi into sine of n pi by 3. So if I solve this one, so this is 0 0.7797 into V S. So uh, for n is equal to 1. So the fundamental component V line fundamental that is equal to 0 0.7797 times the Vs where Vs is the DC supplied voltage. So we have calculated the uh, fundamental component of the line voltages. Okay, so the total RMS value we have already calculated in the previous lecture. So if I go back and uh, look at that, that is 0 0.8165 into Vs. That's the total line voltage that you can see in the highlighted version. So 0 0.8165 into Vs. So V line 0 0.8165 into Vs. This is the RMS voltage. 
total RMS voltage of the line voltage waveform and out of this the fundamental component is contributing this one so rest of the contribution is of the harmonics so we can calculate the harmonic voltage how the VH the harmonic voltage that will be equal to the total RMS voltage minus the RMS voltage of the fundamental component so this will give you the contribution of the harmonics how, how much voltage is being contributed by all of the harmonics so this is uh, V line is 0.8165 square minus points double seven nine seven square so this will be equal to zero point two four two three two three six into vs so harmonic voltage contribution will be point two four two two three six into vs so if you know the supply voltages the DC voltage level you can easily find out all the useful information the fundamental component the total RMS voltage the harmonic contribution in the line voltage waveform okay so now let's move toward the Fourier analysis of the phase voltage waveforms so let me draw the phase voltage waveform first of all so I am going to take VAN so first part is 1 by 3 into VDC second part is uh, 2 by 3 VDC and the third interval has the voltage of 1 by 3 VDC or uh, VS we are using the term VS so I must write it VS so 1 by 3 uh, this is in times Vs, this is times Vs and so on. Okay, so uh, similarly for the negative part, minus 1 by 3 v, uh, Vs, minus 2 by 3 Vs, and minus 1 by 3 Vs. So this is for the interval pi by 3, then this is up to 2 pi by 3, then it is pi. So, if you look at that one, this uh, uh, waveform is also the half cycle, the positive half cycle is centered at pi by 2. So, if you flip this waveform across this one, you will get the, if you take this 0 to pi by 2 portion and flip it, you will get from pi by 2 to pi. And if you flip and invert this waveform, you are going to get this negative cycle. This is centered at 3 pi by 2. And similarly you can find out these angles so we have the half wave symmetry as well as the quarter wave symmetry so half wave and uh, quarter wave symmetry exist so because of that your a n will be equal to zero and only odd harmonics will be present right and the DC component will be zero because the positive and the negative areas are equal so if you compare this area the positive portion with the negative area so they are exactly equal because we have the same voltage levels and same intervals so A naught is equal to 0. So we are just going to calculate Bn. So Bn will be equal to 4 by pi from uh, first of all from 0 to pi by 3 this interval 0 to pi by 3 in that interval it is 1 by 3 into Vs our function into sine of n omega t and integrating with respect to d omega t. Then the second portion that is this one that is from 
pi by 3 to pi by 2 and in this part our function is 2 by 3 into Vs into sine of n omega t so integrating with respect to d omega t so now if I simplify this one So we have this expression and if I further expand this one 4 Vs by n pi this will be equal to minus 1 by 3 cos of n pi by 3 plus 1 by 3 because cos of 0 will be 1 minus 2 by 3 into cos of n pi by 2 plus 2 by 3 into cos of n pi by 3 so in this this will be equal to 0 for any value of the n any odd value right because this expression all of these expressions are valid when n is an odd number okay so in this expression if i simplify this one further 4 v s by uh, n pi so i can write it 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 into cos of n pi by 3 so where n is odd now if you uh, take n is equal to 3 9 uh, 6 will uh, if you take the multiple of 3 3 6 is absent because that's an even number so that is not valid next is um, uh, uh, 12 that will also be absent right and then 15 so if you evaluate uh, uh, the cos n pi by 3 uh, term for these values so that will be equal to uh, minus 1 and for these values your bn will be equal to 0 right so for uh, up these I can write that bn is equal to 4s by n pi uh, taking 3 out 1 plus cos of n pi by 3 that will be equal to 2 v s by n pi with the condition that n is an odd number and n is not the uh, triplet. Triplet means it's not the multiple of 3. Right? So b n is given by this expression so we can represent uh, this uh, phase voltage where this n is representing the neutral not the harmonic number so it's better to write it in v phase i am going to write v phase now okay so the phase voltage uh, can be represented in terms of fourier series now that it is bn sin of n omega t so now taking the value of the bn so phase voltage will be equal to uh, 2 V s by n pi into sine of n omega t right so the phase voltage V a n is basically this one now if I write down the expression for the phase B so I can write it like that n is an odd number up to infinity 2 V s by n pi into sine of n omega t minus 2 pi by 3 because the second waveform is exactly same in terms of structure in terms of level in terms of magnitude but only delayed by the angle of 120 degree right and now if I write down the expression for the phase C this will be equal to like that 2 V s by n pi into sine of n omega t minus 4 pi by 3 so we can represent our phase voltages with the help of these Fourier series expression 
right so this slide shows the summary what we have done so far the line voltage phase voltage fundamental component the harmonic voltage and the fourier series of the line and phase voltage waveforms so this part is representing the line voltage we have derived these expressions now we can calculate the phase voltage waveform using these fourier series expression as you can see over here just by simply dividing the line voltage by the factor of under root 3 and accommodating the phase shift of 30 degree so that you can see from here to here minus pi by 6 in all terms Vn, Vbn and Vcn with respect to their line voltages that may be obtained by plus pi by 6 being the being having the information of power system you can say the line voltages are at the angle of 30 degree with respect to your phase voltages either leading or lagging right so it may be plus pi by 6 and maybe minus pi by 6 I have considered minus pi by 6 over here so we can represent the phase voltages using the Fourier series directly obtained from the line voltage Fourier series right so these are the expressions for the phase voltage directly derived from the line voltage or you can use these expressions as well as we have already derived these one that your phase voltage is given as 2 Vs by n pi into sine of n omega t but one thing uh, that you should um, keep in mind that uh, n is not the triplet means it should not be the multiple of 3 over here triplet harmonics are absent from the line voltage as well as from the phase voltage waveforms ok now coming towards the uh, current specifically for the Y connected load our line current and phase current are equal so the current is calculated by dividing the phase voltage with the impedance so VP is representing the phase voltage and ZP is representing the impedance of the phase ok so we have the expression for the voltage uh, let's uh, look at this waveform uh, sorry this expression let me call it expression 1 so using this expression 1 4 Vs by n pi we are just dividing it by n root 3 because 4 Vs by n, p, n pi is the line voltage divided by n root 3 we will get the phase voltage and that is being divided by the impedance under root r square plus n omega l square and rest of the terms are from this expression right so this will be the current waveform uh, sorry the expression for the current and here you can see the angle theta in which is the impedance angle so that can be calculated with the help of this expression theta n so we can write down the current expression for our inverter if we have the information of the impedance by summing up all the odd harmonics once you calculate this one you can find out the distortion factor distortion factor as we have already discussed in the previous lecture is given by this expression distortion factor is basically the uh, factor that indicates the amount of the harmonic distortion that remains in the particular waveform after the harmonics of that waveform have been subjected to second order attenuation that's why we are dividing by n square this is the measure of effectiveness in reducing unwanted harmonics without having to specify the value of a second order filter so we can now we calculate VLH and that is just representing a portion of this expression so dividing it by the fundamental component you will get the distortion factor the distortion factor because of the individual harmonic can be calculated 
with the help of this expression dfn where n is representing the particular harmonic that is equal to v line voltage of the particular harmonic divided by the uh, fundamental component and the harmonic order square so this will give us the distortion factor for particular harmonic and to calculate thd we can use the harmonic voltage and the fundamental component because thd for any waveform is the ratio of the harmonic components with respect to fundamental so for voltage the harmonic voltage divided by the fundamental component either the phase voltages or the line voltages both must be same phase harmonic voltages then fundamental component of the phase line harmonic voltage divided by the fundamental component of the line and so on so we can calculate the thd in the voltage phase or line voltage uh, waveform okay next you can calculate the current in the switches and that can be calculated with the help of this let me call it iq average average current in the switch so how to find out that one if you calculate the total average current from your supply that will be divided by 3 because your total current is shared by the three transistor in 180 degree conduction three transistor remains on at an instant of time so you will be calculating the total supply current and that can be calculated with the help of this expression that calculating the output power divided by the supply voltage vs you can find out the supply current and then dividing that supply current with the three you will get the average switch current and to calculate the rms value of a transistor current you will have to calculate the line rms current divided by root 3 will give you the current in each thyrist in each transistor so with the help of this we can calculate the transistor current right and the last thing that is the harmonic factor that can be calculated as we have already uh, discussed before harmonic factor for particular nth harmonic is the ratio of that harmonic let's suppose if we are considering line voltages so nth harmonic of the line voltage divided by the fundamental component of the line voltage so you can calculate the harmonic factor of fifth harmonic seventh harmonic just by placing the value over here and you can analyze your circuit or the inverter in detail so we have discussed all the parameters which are calculated for an inverter so those are summarized over here and i have considered the y connected load for delta connected load your phase and line voltages will be same but your current will be divided your line current will be under root 3 times the phase current we will discuss the analysis of the delta connected load in detail when we will first of all develop the insight into the waveforms of the delta connected load so this video concludes with the analysis detailed analysis of the three phase 180 degree conduction inverter with the y connected load and that's all thank you very much